start. Joel doesn't know I'm going to do this, but I'm about to do this anyway. <laughs> so Joel is taking a well-deserved kind of night off, but not night off, because he's been walking around here like a blue arse fucking fly. Um, I'm going to I'm going to knight him for a second, just just, and, and this is going to be his night. I'm in this roller coaster and I go at it, and Quigley came down over. It was a 90 degree drop, 200 something kilometers. Uh, it was really fun. Uh, as you can imagine, first time on a roller coaster, Paige was like, ah! Wasn't a good picture. So, all right, we gotta do this again. That picture never came out going through when I, the camera took it. So we again. Just missed the camera again for a good picture. So, third time. Stomach's a little bit queasy at this point. I'm here. Hold on. And I'm ready from the first that I get on the roller coaster. <laughs> After a few very traumatic relationships that I went through at all, and uh, uh, I finally found the woman I think I'm meant to be with, sort of thing, and, and she's a Mona Lisa, so I'm blessed to have that, and, and that, that girl in my life, and I get to live. I took the business courses. To make this work, you have to have the income to go with it, right? And so I joined Mary Forleo's B-School. How many people know Mary Forleo? Mary TV. Very inspirational. Her B-School is this online intensive business school for big-hearted entrepreneurs. My goal? Get my art, my photography, my painting online. No problem. I got a lot more out of it than that. At one point, she really helps you figure out how all your gifts come out together. And I was guided it was time to start talking about my visions and start using my intuitive readings to help other people. Here's what I've come to understand. I am thunder and lightning. But what I need to know and believe and understand is that thunder and lightning takes a break. Thunder and lightning doesn't keep thundering and lightning because then it wouldn't be noticeable. <laughs> it would be like, can you just stop the freaking thunder and lightning? It just keeps going. We are also entitled to feel sad and hurt. The difference is we can't live there. You don't stay there, but you go through it, you experience it, and you move through it. That's what I've learned at the bottom is that's what I what I part of getting back up. And you know, we're also we're we also live in a society that's very justifiably jaded. So happiness is not something that's easily come by either because how dare we be happy when there's so much suffering in the world. So when we're out there in front of society it's like it's we're not it's not okay to be really happy and it's not okay to be really sad. What I'd like to ask is uh, for the audience to stand this time. Usually I ask the speakers to stand. I'm going to ask the audience to stand, keeping with uh, what Barry started us out doing, and give these speakers and entertainment a standing ovation because they each and every one of them deserve it. Let's go. Thank you.